What's up, everybody? Just hanging out over here next to this seawall, just watching some boats go by and airplanes and just uh, enjoying the afternoon. I just got back from a really awesome charter with uh, Captain Jordan and we got on some snook, redfish, speckled trout, sand trout, mackerel. Just an awesome day of fishing. I had a blast with Captain Jordan. Um, really excited to show you this video and stay tuned till the end. We're gonna cook up some fish in the little Airbnb I'm staying at. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. Is it open? Yeah. Sorry, I got you too much bait. Um, sorry, don't let it happen again. All right, y'all have fun, man. Yeah, great to meet you. Yeah, for sure. Appreciate the business, man. Jordan will take Slide. care of you. He's the man. So I had a ton of fun getting to know Captain Jordan. He's a pro, fished Tampa, Florida his whole life, and I learned a lot from him. And out of respect for his business and the fishery, I'm gonna kind of skip over and just show a couple highlights of the trout spot that we hit first, uh, mainly because it has a distinguishable background and I don't wanna mess with uh, Captain Jordan's privacy at all. But we limited out on speckled trout and caught sand trout and Spanish mackerel and it all went down pretty quickly and that was kind of I just wanted some some fresh fish to bring back to New York City so that's the spot we hit first but for the rest of the trip um, we hit up these mangroves and mainly focused on uh, free lining pilchards and also using popping cork so I'm gonna kind of let the mangrove footage play out for the the redfish and snook that we kind of targeted for the rest of the day. Should I go straight off the bow? Yeah, so there's a couple that popped. The sun went away. But they're like right this direction. Oh, I think I see him waking. Yeah, so right there, there's an oyster bar. Like all those little, that's bait. Oh, get hit. yeah, I'm on. Right there, right there. Nice. This feels good. This feels really good. Sick. Reel down on him just a little more. Heck yeah, that's my first one ever. Really? Yeah. Congrats. Heck yeah. Oh, I'm so hyped. Oh, I'm so pumped right now. Sick. Oh, I'm so hyped. I wanted to catch one for a long time. They fight hard. Yeah, they're like little bulldogs. Wow, that's cool. I can see them like tailing out there. That's just bait. Oh. That's bait. That was a snook that just popped right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah! Yes! Dang, you got good eyes. You called it before he came out of the water. Oh, yeah. popped. Well, I could just tell by how he ate it. Gotcha. Yeah, it was definitely a snook, little snook. They have that signature kind of pop. Oh man, I'm so hyped on the redfish. It was like pretty t like light tan colored. Yeah. He's been probably spending a lot of time in the sand and stuff right over here. So that's the three game fish here? That's the trout? 
Snook redfish. Yeah. And then you get a tarpon on top of that. It's a grand slam. Got him. Heck yeah! The slam! Tampa Bay slam. Oh, I'm so hyped, man. Thank you. Is it okay if I lean this here? Yeah. Heck yeah! Thank you. You're welcome, dude. The slam. Oh, I'm so hyped. Come on. Oh. Two, three. There we go. Sick. Damn. He's more golden. Yeah, he's in this tan water. The tail's all blue, too. Yeah. It's from eating uh, blue crabs. Yeah, he's got some pretty colors on him. Wow. That's so cool. Sick, you called it. Nice. Oh, dude, I'm so sorry. Come on. Oh, <laughs> you think I'm putting too much heat on them? A little bit. Okay. But these are, they're just kind of small fish. Gotcha. You know? Should I let them run a little bit or? 
you know, kind of. You got you know, as much as you can, but we're also like right in the trees, so. Yeah. You kind of got to horse them a little bit. Come on. Oh, oh damn. <laughs> I'm sucking. Fish on. Nice one. <laughs> Heck yeah. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Oh man, I'm so hyped. I went into full on concentration mode there. Good Thanks, one. dude. Oh man, I'm so hyped. Yeah, I'll throw back in there. There's probably another one in there. Yeah, I told you that they pull hard. It's a little bit different. It's uh I don't know how to describe it. It's like uh Oh my god, I just inhaled a bug. Oh no. <laughs> it's uh harder than a striped bass for sure. Have you caught a striper? I haven't. They take very long runs and then just get pooped. Really? So it's like one really long run. That's kind of what a snook does in open water. Like if you catch a big one in open water, mm -hmm. it's kind of they just one big long straight run, and then yeah, you kind of they come up and kind of shake their head at the surface and roll over. I really want to. I've never tried the popping cork for striped bass. I'm, I totally am going to try it when I get home. I had some guys. I think it was last week. They were all from uh, Boston, and they were charter captains. And uh -huh. they love the corks. They were like, they were like, we're trying this. It's got, it's like, it's gonna work on the stripers. <laughs> uh, the wave, the waves will trick it. You got it. Oh, nice fish.
<laughs> so funny the way you just had that Boston accent was incredible. Yeah, that's how they sound. Yep. <laughs> We're gonna get on them stripers, Joe. <laughs> they are cool as shit, though. They're awesome. Hell yeah, I love Boston. Heck yeah. That's the biggest snook we've caught so far. That's a nice one. Heck yeah. Nice. So this has kind of been the theme of 2023. I, uh, I'll run out of batteries on the camera and then I'll get a couple casts in. Between changing batteries, I'll usually catch a nice fish. It's been this strange luck that I've had lately. But uh, yeah, I got this other pretty nice red fish. Damn, dude, that's a nice red fish. Damn. <laughs> That's a fat one. That is awesome. How big do they have to be to keep? 18 to 20, so he's probably a little over. Yeah, he's over slot. That's a fat one. What a beauty. He's got two marks on his on his tail. Yeah. That's Hello, a buddy. Fish. So you can uh, lip them like I've I've seen people uh, use grips with them, but I've never. I guess uh, there's nothing wrong with lipping them. Uh, they got they have teeth. They'll definitely tear your hand up. So it was a pretty successful day of fishing. Uh, caught a lot of species. Caught my first redfish. And so we headed back to the docks. Uh, there's a really cool bird that I guess frequents uh, Captain Jordan's boat named George. I gave George a pilchard and Captain Jordan filleted up the fish. And then I headed back to the spot that I was staying at to do a little taste test. Well, I didn't have salt, pepper, or any kind of spices. So I just deep fried the fish. Uh, it's kind of cool, something different, you know, very simple catch and cook. Um, I'm just gonna try all three of these and uh, see how they taste. I think I'm gonna start off with the speckled trout. I've got the speckled trout here. Nice little chicken nugget. Yeah, that's tasty. It's kind of, um, it seems like a type of fish that you need to add some kind of spice to. Um, and it's, it's like, uh, kind of like chicken. Um, extremely mild flavor. I'll give it one more taste. There's zero, I've never eaten speckled trout before, but there's like zero uh, fishy taste to it. it. Tastes kind of, honestly it tastes like chicken. Um, but let's try uh, the sand trout next. It's even more mild. If you don't like fish, I would try speckled trout or, uh, or sand trout. That doesn't taste like fish at all. It's extremely mild. I mean, there's no spices on it. So I bet you if you had like some hot sauce or some like barbecue sauce, this would be great for like a fish sandwich, honestly, if you had like some horseradish mayo or like sriracha mayo or something, like some kind of spices with it, probably delicious. Um, there's like zero fishy taste to it. And uh, now I'm gonna try the mackerel. You know, we get the Spanish mackerel in New York City pretty much every year um, past few years I've been getting them and kind of kind of have an idea of what I'm getting myself into here yeah oh yeah yeah the Spanish is more my speed um, so I like I actually like oily fish um, gosh this is delicious some ASMR for you. Um, yeah, that's my speed. 
Spanish has like, it's not too oily, but it kind of reminds me of bluefish. Um, it's just a lot more mild than bluefish is. It's like, um, it's got just like a hint. Gosh, that's delicious. That tastes better than the ones we get in New York. And I'm not sure if, um, I'm pretty sure the Spanish, you know, migrate to New York, but, um, I don't know how they work in Florida, but, um, gosh, that's freaking delicious. I love Spanish mackerel. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but that is so freaking good. Um, but yeah, awesome day of fishing. Um, appreciate you coming along and uh, shout out to Captain Jordan. I'm going to put his info in the description. Gosh, that's good. I haven't had fresh fish in um, a few weeks. Um, so that was freaking delicious. I'm going to scarf this uh, meal down. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.